that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Prepare to be razzled and dazzled. Don't be a stranger now, you hear?
Enjoy your stay with us. This must be. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Here's something that ought to brighten your day. The association has bumped you up a rank. Congratulations. Honestly, you really ought to show off your work. It bespeaks a beautiful finesse. Never seen anything like it. Some might say it belongs in a gallery. seeing you again. What are you doing here? No, don't tell me. Are you here for a match? I'm game, I guess. Oh, come on. You doing this or what? You sure? It's fine by me. You're not here to play, are you?
fair and beauteous though she remained, her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause, her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. From this wicked Ikor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. And that is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne. I pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope, Cloud. I await you at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. Don't mind me. I've not been feeling so hot. Hey, Cloud. Do you know anything about the Shadowblood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though... It seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Too many competitions lately. It's chock full of Gundagum. Fine, let's get this over with. You sure? That's fine by me. One fork and Gungaga mushrooms. Fixin' to fly?
Sephiroth, wait up! Bring me the black materia. like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it.
uh, Kate? I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. You don't have to do that, I see. I... Not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. The reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah, it's this or nothing. We should get going.
coming for you, my beautiful birdie.
Good bird.
wall cleaving anything in two. Be it the fabric of creation or the time between the seconds. <laughs> no, not to compare swords, but his might trump yours. Yeah. 
Don't overdo it.
lies just beyond Mount Evil. From this belief arises the conception of Odin as a gatekeeper of the afterlife, one who turns away all whose time has not yet come.
with me. Coming.
coming through. Take the lead. Oh, so it's my turn?
power. I don't know what it is. On you. The ain't no I'll show you what I can do. No time to celebrate.
the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Time to celebrate. Monster territory now. Rare Valron variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. It is thought that the ominous coloring of this variant is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds with its aggressive nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a frenzy. As an aside, Valrons were sighted in this area only after the Mako reactor was constructed. Because of its humanoid form, there were rumors at the time that these creatures were actually humans who had undergone a horrific transformation due to Mako exposure. Setting aside the veracity of these claims, one thing is certain. The advent of the reactor coincided with the Balrog's appearance. This could be a good opportunity to delve into the mysteries of their origins. I don't think this! It's on you. Yeah, I'm counting yeah. on you! Yeah. 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 
you and Nog for providing such valuable combat intel. I'll use this data to further enhance my guidance functionality. That would be a great misuse of our resources. Requesting attitude adjustment. In any case, I've utilized the data for a new challenge. Feel free to access it via the combat simulator when you have the time.
was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It should be on a nearby island. Once they discovered Mako in the area, Shinra established an offshore outpost. Oh, but they've long since vacated the isle, so I doubt you'll run afoul of their forces. Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage! A living legend! Surely you've heard of the man! <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo, neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. The bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. It takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! 
This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you wanna know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion. And an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the Gold Cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not, it'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please, do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Thirty tufts ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? You get your hands on that choco grass. Some folks also call it the floating flower. They don't mean it metaphorically. It really floats above water. Makes it hard to get to. With Selena, though, you'll glide over that water with the greatest of ease. <coughs> You get your hands on that choco grass. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. 
Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You've got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions after all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. Oh, Cloud! Have you come to brush up on your bird handling? As soon as I heard the legendary Chocobo Sage was here, I knew I had to come. I was surprised to see a recluse residing in such luxury. Even hermits enjoy a dip in the pool. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help.
You got any choco grass for me? Thanks. If you find any more, I'll be here. Now how about plumes? I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. I promise. Cloud. Odin, the noble knight hailing from the land of the dead, has been recreated within virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat data. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. I'm counting on you, Cloud. 
I'm counting on you, Cloud. You prepared to undertake the final trial? You prepared to undertake the final trial? like all that training I made you do paid off. Thanks to my regimen, I'd say you're head and shoulders above your average amateur. Wouldn't you agree? As much as I'd love to tell you you're wrong because I think you're the worst, you do have a point. <laughs> Even the worst can teach you a thing or two, if you let them. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. 
ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Hmm, how you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. There's still lots I'd like to know about my parents. Lots more I'd like to know about my Uncle Sam, too. Maybe winning that race will give me a chance to ask him myself. There's still lots I'd like to... Maybe winning that race will give me a chance... No losing to anyone else, you hear? Can't have you dragging my good name through the mud. Now that I have that choco grass, should start making some of that tincture. No losing to anyone else, you hear?